Hello friends, in this video, we are discussing about project formation and stages involved in it. Now let us discuss about project formation first. For project formation, we have to go through different different stages. Now first of all, we see what is actually a project. A project is a complex of non-routine activities that must be completed with a set amount of resources and within a set time interval. It is carried out in an organized manner with a clearly predefined need, start point and end point. So it is an activity which has a predefined start point and end point and a purpose with amount of resources and with the time allotted to complete that particular task that is nothing but a project now relationship among the entrepreneur entrepreneurship and enterprise these are the terms related to the project so entrepreneur is nothing but a person with the innovative ideas entrepreneurship is action or the process and enterprise is its outcome so we can define it in the type of project also so project formulation is a step by step investigation of resources and development of project idea for achieving the objectives of taking an investment decision so whether to invest in that particular project or not we'll start with the project formation so this is the project formation process it is stepping stone which involves the joint effects of team of experts and it represents project related facts before the interested party that is your stakeholders now what is the aim of project formulation to achieve the project objectives with minimum expenditure and adequate resources now what are the objectives of project formulation why we have to do it so his general objective is states in bold terms the achievement expected out of a project operational objective is specifically mentions the results expected from the implementation of the project so it will give you the actual idea about the project why we have to do that particular project and the project formulation is a concise exact statement of a project to set the boundaries or limit of work to be performed by the project so it will give us clear idea about the project and it is the one of the stage in the life cycle of project so as you can see over here First is the initiation, after which we go for planning and designing, then execution, monitoring and controlling, and then last is closure. So initiation is come under project formulation. Now there are seven stages involved in project formulation. Now which are those? First is feasibility analysis. We have to do the feasibility study. Then Techno economic analysis, then we go for project design and network analysis, then input analysis, financial analysis whether the project is financially strong or not, then social cost benefit analysis, and lastly, project appraisal or pre investment analysis. Now, what are the different factors which affect the project formulation? First factor is appropriate selection of technology. We have to select the appropriate technology because we have n number of technology which are performing the same task or they are giving the same benefits, but we have to choose the appropriate technology. Then influence of external economics, qualified personnel, resource mobilization, the knowledge about government regulation this is very important otherwise 
the project will go in loss and some other factors related to nature or related to the society then comes feasibility analysis so the project idea is examine whether to go for detailed investment of proposal or not it is done in the context of internal and external constraints a market analysis is done then if the project idea is feasible we go for the second step or else abandon the idea that's why feasibility analysis is very important whether the idea is feasible for the current market or not then we go for second step which is techno economic analysis so in this estimation of project demand potential and choice of optimal technology are made so which technology we are going to select for this project is done in second phase market analysis is in built in this step and this stage gives the project a unique individuality and sets the stage for detailed design development next step comes is project design and network analysis now this forms the heart of the project it defines the individual activities and their interrelationship with each other that means for example if we are go for concreting so first we have to go for batching with the given proportions then we have to go for mixing then after mixing we have to go for transporting placing compacting and then curing so in that manner we have to plan it properly the sequence of event of project is presented and detailed work plan for the project is prepared with time allocation for each activity and presented in a network diagram so we draw a network that is your cpm of fault so we have seen the network diagrams then it comes input analysis now assess the input requirement during the construction and operation of the project quantitative and qualitative assessment is done determine the project feasibility from the point of view of resource requirements whether it is possible to get that resources from the nearby area or not and what will be the cost of it and it helps in financial and cost benefit analysis also so input analysis is very important after this come financial analysis estimates project cost operating cost and fund requirements aids the decision maker by comparing various project proposals it is necessary to exercise due care and foresight in financial forecast so whenever we are going for the new project financial analysis is very important whether this project is sound or not financially and whether will getting any profit from it or not then comes social cost benefit analysis so overall work of the project is the main consideration whether the project is beneficial for the society or not or for example if we are constructing a building also or a complex also whether people will invest in it or not that is very important if it is not socially beneficial then no one will invest in it there are three categories for is primary so primary means for the point of view of project implementing body if it is beneficial second is apart from the project implementing body it should be beneficial to others and last is non quantifiable spillover as we can see the benefit and cost so we should go for cost benefit analysis and last is this pre investment analysis project appraisal so the project proposal gets a formal and final shape at this stage all results obtained in the above steps are 
consolidated and arrive at various conclusions on the project sponsoring body implementing body and external consulting agencies declare whether to accept the project or not and lastly the investment decision is taken if all are convinced then we can proceed with this project so in this video we have discussed about the project formation and its importance thank you